Hey, what is up everyone? So for today, we will be assessing the damages for the ST as you guys saw in my previous video. Um, I hit a recap on the highway. So basically today we're going to assess the damages um, and I already went ahead, picked up the car and I looked under it and I'll show you guys everything I saw. I mean, first things first is this guy's right here. And I said to myself, well, what else could have had gone bad? For starters, that guy is gone. Uh, you guys can see the two bolts, one right there, one right there, so three up there, and then some of the guys that are still holding up in place here. Um, also, what else was missing is, well, my shutter system. This doesn't really matter to me, but what does is my intercooler, which if I can get a good image here. This guy, well, I can't really show you because it's a really tight fit, but basically it is bent right here a little bit and you can see that there there's some pokes and holes in there which i said okay well let's hope hoping that's not bad now i can't seem to find any cracks on the inner cooler plastic so that's a good my charge pipe is okay that's okay um my oil pan has gotten dirty <clears throat> let's slide back in here so my oil pan is a bit dirty um, but that's not too bad. This charge pipe as well. These guys can be replaced. I don't care. Um, all this, no leaks, no leaks. Also up in here, no leaks. Um, but coming here to the back, I noticed that guy's wet. Wet. Which leads all the way up to my blow-off valve. Basically the blow-off valve is like super wet. Um, it seems like the gasket knock, got knocked out of place. Um, I did not order the second spacer that I should have ordered. So maybe that would have prevented it from happening. So that might be the boost leak because my car does sound kind of like a Subaru. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take off the wheel and get started. The rear valence is okay. This may allow me to get a new one. Um, but here, let's get this guy started off for you. I am not completely sure how well the camera captured that. Um, yeah, that's the noise it keeps making. Um, and then when I go, I get like a boost leak feel where it kind of stutters a little bit and it's trying to build up boost and it builds up to 18 PSI, which I'm thinking that might be the leak because it's still like fit. I see that there's a little film of gasketing from the blow off out that's like sitting outside where it's not supposed to be. Um, of course, it's leaking all over from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the wheel and put the um, that little um, my stock blow off valve on or my my bypass valve back on. We'll see how that goes, and I'm gonna contact Boomba, seeing if they can give me a new gasket because that gasket may have gotten stretched out. Um, hopefully, they can help me out. I'm hoping they do, and let's see how that goes. So this is how it looks like. Um, it kind of seems like it got scratched right here. So I'm guessing that's where it took the hit. Um, and then it was blowing on this end here, so you guys can see that. And this gasket is actually still right on there. So let's see if we can pull that out right now. And there's my gasket. Of course I'm gonna need a new one now. Oh, there you go. It ripped right there and I don't know if this is this may have been my fault not sure I mean it, it never leaked never saw it leak it going on before till now so um, it could have been that it fell and it came out through there and then eventually it just like crushed it every single time this thing would open and close not sure but uh, I like it so much Alright, let's put the stock one back on and see how it turns on. Alright, we got that stock bypass. 
pass valve back on. Let's see how it sounds. And for any of you guys who don't know how to switch this guy out, I'll link my uh, video and you guys will see it there. Um, and yeah. Nope, it did not work. I don't know what else that could happen, but that's all I'm willing to put time into because, I mean, that alone, and we're moving over to the front now. I left all this on. Um, this is kind of smooth. It doesn't seem like anything's wrong there. Uh, doesn't sound like any leaks of whatever this could have been. And <clears throat> coming down here, there's nothing here that could be leaking or that should have leaked last night. That just was from changing the blow off valve itself. But other than that, there's nothing else that seems to be damaged. I looked at my charge pipes, they all look fine. Um, even this guy over here that looks like something happened here, but really nothing did. Um, none of the hoses are ripped. Anything like that, I've been checking it, and still, I have zero clue what could be going on. The one thing I forgot to mention was this belt. I didn't realize it till I saw it right now. That is ripped. If this guy would focus. But you can basically tell this and this. It's like stuck on very, very lightly all the way through. You guys can see that all the way. I'm not sure if any other belt may be ripped. This one looks to be still intact. I'm not sure about any other ones. Or if even this was hit on one portion only. Um, I would just have to get like a uh, whatever bolt size that is and turn it to find out. But for me right now, I think I'm going to leave it as that. Um, I might just call the insurance and see what happens. I took out the blow off valve because I said that that leak was going on. But other than that, I think that's all I can do. Like I said, um, once again, charge pipes look really solid. It doesn't look like there should be anything wrong with them. I mean, I'm pretty sure if I took off the whole front bumper, you can probably see better. Um, even that charge pipe over here, everything is super solid all the way through. There's no air leaks. Oh, and then there's a hit right there. I don't know what this guy was, if it held anything in there, but also that guy. Oh, well, it also hit up here. That's kind of weird. Right there. I mean, there is kind of oh bits and places where it hit and places where it didn't. Um, as you guys can see right there, that, that bracket all the way back there is bent down. Um, even the heat shield over there is also kind of crushed in. There's nothing in this portion here that kind of speaks out of the normal, which is good. The turbo is good. Um, it's just, the, just that noise is the only thing that's getting to me that's pissing me off. Glue to close this all out. I also took my spark plug because it still sounds weird. I don't know what it could be. I'm just kind of disappointed at this point. So I'm going to call my insurance, see what they can do. Um, and yeah, hopefully everything turns out good. I have very limited time since next week I'm going to be in Chicago. Um, so... Let's just, just hope. I'm kind of bummed out, but let's hope that everything gets cleared off. I'll see you guys uh, in my next video, and have a good day. Bye.